Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to go through all of the fights in the Boss Rush Challenge for International Women's Day. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the team that I went in here with while the fighting is going on. So this first node was done by Laura Grant. And that is Brian Grant's wife. If you are unfamiliar with Brian Grant, he is a fellow YouTuber. And here you can see the nodes that we have to deal with. Now, this first fight is fairly straightforward. And it would be far more difficult if this uh, X-23 had her special three active. Fortunately, she does not. Now, I'm going in this uh, into this fight with Corvus Glaive. You will notice that that is a four-star Corvus Glaive. And there's a story behind that uh, that I'm not going to tell right just now. But basically, I was not able to get the boss rush challenge done early enough to use my five-star rank five Corvus. However, as you will see, the four star can do the job as well. So if you don't have a rank five, five star Corvus, don't worry about it. You can still do quite a number of these fights uh, in this challenge. Now, it'll be a little bit more difficult, of course, because it's a four star. And I wasn't playing Corvus the best that I could here. Uh, I was still getting used to the fight, and normally I would fight with Corvus medium, light, medium. I did this live, uh, so these are excerpts from my live stream yesterday. Uh, so if you want to actually see this fight going on live, just take a look at the live stream from yesterday. All right, now, the team that I went in here with is the Ghost Trinity, that's Ghost, Hood, and Wasp. Then I brought in, of course, the four-star Corvus Glaive. And finally, to round off the team, I brought in Omega Red. That is my six-star Omega Red, rank two, and he's unawakened. And I know not everyone agrees with that. They're like, wow, why would you rank two on Omega Red unawakened? I have videos where I talk about that. Uh, bottom line on that one is that if you're running suicides, Omega Red, even unawakened, is worth it, in my opinion. Not everyone shares it, but that's okay. I use my Omega Red in Alliance War, and I wreck. And I use him in quests, and I wreck with him. So as long as he is doing the job and doing it very well, I'm good. Now, if I get a five-star Omega Red, I'll still awaken him and rank him up because he will be just that much better. All right, so down goes X-23. This also gives my Corvus Glaive a charge. Next up, we have got Cat Murdoch, and uh, he or she, I'm not quite sure, because uh, I don't know them. Uh, these are the nodes that they uh, put on this champion, Medusa. Now that invade, cornered, and pilfer may give you a little bit of trouble. All right. Now the perfect counter, in my opinion, for this is Corvus. Because of that invade, you have to hit into her block to do more damage. Corvus Glaive, he can crit through the block. So if you have a champion that can crit through block or does a lot of damage through block, uh, Masakri, for example, uh, is good. Um, Cyclops, I think Red Cyclops, I can't remember if Blue Cyclops also, um, but they also can do a lot of damage through your block. These are champions that will do very, very well against this particular node. You don't need them. Uh, you can do this fight without anyone else. 
um, without any of those champions, rather. Now, here's something to notice. You notice how much damage I just took. I took a, a blocked hit, even though it was a parry, and you can see how much damage. So what you want to do, you want to get her to block. And you don't want to get trapped in the corner or else you're going to get wrecked. And that's why I got a little nervous early on because she was pushing me into the corner. But now she's blocking more. And you see how much damage I'm doing. All right. Boom. Got her down. So it wasn't that bad, but it could have been quite bad. So you have to be careful. But as I said, Corvus rocks that fight. Now we've got Wasp. Now, this is a little annoying. Miss Insomnia. Uh, but spiked armor and dismay and enhanced shock. You got Plague Mine, which doesn't do nice things for Corvus. Because if you want to try to build up to a, a special, that can be annoying. And the spiked armor can be very, very annoying. Uh, and I figured, well, I may take some damage. Everyone was telling me uh, to use Omega Red. Although Ghost could have done this fight as well. One hit combos and... She wouldn't have taken that much damage, but Omega Red, way better option in my opinion. All right, see the power drain, but that's okay. She seems really coy. I'm having a hard time getting her to fire off her specials. But here she goes. She finally fired off the special, which put her evade on cooldown and allowed me to attack. Now, one thing I have to practice a little bit better with Omega Red. What you want to do when you're close like this here, uh, and I get the parry, you want to hold your heavy a little bit longer than you normally would. Like this. See, I held it a little too short. If I hold it a little longer, I can get an extra spore. So that just takes a little practice. I'm usually very nervous about doing that because you get it wrong and you get wrecked, all right? But there, Wasp is down and Omega Red is looking good. Unawakened, looking good. All right, now this Emma Frost, this was annoying, Miss Katie Candy. Now, normally, Corvus will rock this fight, but you do need to play well. You need to know how to fight Emma Frost. And because she has an unblockable special one, I've gotten lazy. And I would block the special one of Emma rather than, you know, dealing with uh, trying to evade it and messing up. All right, so... I decided to go ahead and heal up Corvus. Now, my four-star Corvus means you have to play even better against Emma. Because when you do get hit, it's going to hurt really, really bad. So, I go in here. You'll notice that the parry knocked her out of her diamond form. That is one of the things Corvus does. And now I'm trying to bait that out, okay? And we evaded it. So we're doing good. But I hate reverse controls. They always mess me up. So you see here, I'm doing good. I'm like, okay, you know, we can do this. But remember, aggressive regeneration. So if she plays passive, that's it. And you see right there, she was playing passive. And I'm like, okay, I went into attack. And that's when she hit me. Uh, here, I made another mistake because she had the sting on me after she hit me, and that took a lot of my health when I fired off my special, okay? So just several mistakes on my part made this fight more difficult than it should have been, All right? And there you see, I just completely forgot that I needed to evade and tried to block like I normally would and got wrecked. Corvus can absolutely do that fight he is one of the best for that fight. When I come back in here to get all the rest of the titles, 
I will have my five star rank five Corvus, and that fight's going to go a little bit differently. All right, so Ghost also does pretty good against this fight. As you can see here, she's just tearing it up. Now, if you want to, uh, I kind of call it cheat mode, you can bring Ghost, put on a 200% power boost. And let me tell you, that's ugly. Ghost will wreck. All right, so now we've got probably the most difficult fight. I believe this is a Dragon Fae. This is the most difficult fight in here, and it's going to give people a lot of trouble. And I already knew that. You can see I'm already getting hit. I went in nervous, um, but we're back, and I'm just trying to get as much done as possible. You can see here that Brawl is annoying. You have to pay attention to Brawl, and then she has Death Touch. Like right here, if she touched me, I was dead. All right, if she touches me at any point here, I'm dead. All right, now I'm okay until that death touch comes back. So I'm like, okay, I gotta start doing some damage on her because she also has that regen. Yeah, this fight is easily the most difficult fight in here, hands down, all right? See that death touch again, and now I'm in the corner. And look at this, boom, gone. Just like that, very difficult fight. Now, what I forgot to do and what made this fight even more difficult invade that means i needed to be hitting into her block there were a couple of people that were uh saying it in chat but of course i was concentrating on the fight and did not remember the invade until towards the end but at this point i haven't used any revives and so i'm like okay i just want to try and get as much damage done as possible don't let her heal up and just zerg her down. You know, I've got a few others and there's only like one more fight left. So may as well. But see, this is death touch right there. All right, it's gone. But all that while she was getting health. And then when I got a little opening, Brawl kicked in and she was unstoppable. And I'm like, wow. And you can see she had more health than when I went in. I said, okay, this is not going to be fun. However, we said, well, we'll just keep at it. You can see most of my team is down, and I'm only left with the hood and Omega Red. And I wanted to save Omega Red for the final boss, which is Black Widow Clairvoyant. I heard that he does exceptionally well against that boss. So I went in with the hood hoping to either finish her off or get her close to uh, going down and then finishing her off with Omega Red. All right, and see, there we go. There's that death touch again. And people are like, hit into her block, hit into her block. So I finally remembered and started hitting into her block. You see, even when she's unstoppable, I got like one little tap in. And then you see here, now I'm starting to hit into her block because I remember. And we still want to hit her because of the, um, what do you call it? The uh, aggressive regeneration. Otherwise, she's going to keep healing a whole lot. And you see here, this is an ugly fight. I keep tapping her and running, see? But boom, we got her down. That was a little dicey towards the end, but we managed to get her down and no revives needed to be used so far now we have to deal with mighty charge and safeguard this one was done by starfighter hey how you doing starfighter now with safeguard you need to be concerned with damage over time uh that's going to do very well against safeguard all right that curse of death can be very, very annoying. You don't want to let her get to 20. If you do have to get to 20, you need to be very, very careful from that point on. Not necessarily a fun fight, but if you're careful, you can do it. Now, I'm thinking Omega Red is going to be the best person on my team for this. 
But before I go in, and this is something if you guys have ever watched my videos when I do boss fights, I tend to go in kind of like the old school martial arts films. Before you could reach the master, you had to go through all of the pupils and, and all of that. So I'll go through all the rest of my team, people that I don't necessarily think are going to take her until I get to the final one. But I want you guys to watch my boy, The Hood, go at it. So I took Hood to rank five, and a lot of people were saying, man, I know Hood is, is not bad, but rank five? Why would you do that? Well, my rationale was that I always bring Hood with Ghost. To me, he is the most important synergy uh, because with Hood, Ghost does not take any damage while phasing. You can play around not having Wasp, but you can't play around not having the Hood. But look at him go. He is making this fight look positively easy. So I have no regrets taking the hood to rank five. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm doing much, much better than I thought I was going to, but just look at this. He is just wrecking. This is the first time I'm facing this Black Widow Clairvoyant. And boom, down she goes. One shot, I believe I one shot all but um, one or two bosses. I think uh, Emma Frost, I didn't one shot, and Rogue. I think those are the two that I didn't one shot. But that was an epic fight for the hood. All right, so we got her down in 79 hits. One hit, we got tagged, but overall a pretty straightforward fight. And I enjoyed that fight. Now, you can see you get unique titles for completing this boss rush challenge. You can do it multiple times, and I intend to because I want all of those titles. That top banana does make me smile, but I like all of the titles. So I'll be going back through collecting them all, and I'll probably do that on stream. So look forward to that. Uh, you also get 10,000 five-star shards. I will not be opening up a five-star crystal outside of my videos. I always collect all of my shards, and then I make one video where I open all of them up. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. I like this boss rush challenge. I think Corvus is going to be an MVP. Ghost can also do quite well and uh, Omega Red, but for each of the counters, you're gonna want to evaluate who you have, how well you fight against them, and look at the nodes, don't be like me, and forget about Invade and make the fight more difficult than you should. But that's gonna do it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.